Yo, what's up, Super Fit Fam? This is Super Chad bringing you guys another awesome video. Today, we're talking about muscle mass and how you can put some on in the quickest and most efficient way. All right, let's get it. All right, guys, I'm gonna break this video down into three different parts. The first part we're gonna talk about is exercise. After that, we're going to talk about nutrition. And then the last part is going to just going to be some extra tips that I can give you guys so you guys can actually put on some muscle mass as quick as possible. So the first thing that's going to be really, really important is how you work out. So when we work out, there's going to be three things that you need to pay attention to. There's going to be frequency, volume, and intensity. So frequency is pretty much how many times a week are we working out. So in order to put on muscle mass, it's been scientifically proven that if you train a specific muscle group, for this instance, let's say chest, if you train it two to three times a week, you will see significant growth over time, okay? Now that just makes super sense. If you exercise and train a muscle group, it will grow. Now, how it grows depends on how we train. So training two to three times a week is awesome, but now what goes on in these reps and sets is really, really gonna be important. And that's when we get into intensity and volume. So intensity is how much load are we lifting in our workout. The way I like to think about that is pretend you're getting crushed by a boulder. That sounds ridiculously intense, right? So the heavier the object or the thing that we're lifting, the more intense that it is. Okay, so when our main goal is muscle growth, aka hypertrophy, Hypertrophy? <laughs> when our main goal is hypertrophy or hypertrophy, um, I have trouble pronouncing that word. I always call it hypertrophy, but it's hypertrophy. Okay, um, when your main goal is muscle growth, you should be lifting at least within 70 to 75% of what your one rep max is. So if we're talking about bench press, we're talking about if you can only bench press 100 pounds, you should be trying to bench around 70 to 80 pounds. Well, 70 to 75 pounds. Okay, now when it comes to calisthenics, if you're looking to gain mon muscle size, it can be kind of tough because there are no actual weights in the exercise. You're using your own body weight. Now, to make it a little bit easier, what I personally do, if I'm working more towards muscle size, I usually work around one to two progressions lower than my max progression. So I'm capable of doing full planches. So when I'm training more for muscle size and making sure I keep my physique, I'm usually working more with advanced tuck and sometimes single leg. You, it's rarely straddle planche that I'm working with. So I'm usually working two progressions down from what I'm usually capable of doing. Okay, now let's talk about volume. Volume is the sets and reps that fill our actual workout. So when you, if you have trouble remembering volume, just remember that volume is like how much space fills up a cube, okay? So what fills our actual workout? All right, now when it comes to volume, it's been scientifically proven that you should be doing three to five sets of that exercise in order to achieve good gains. Now, when you do those three to five sets, if you're working to 70 to 75% of your one rep max, you should be able to do anywhere from seven to about 12 reps. Now that seven to 12 rep range is the sweet spot for putting on muscle mass, okay? Now the only time that can be kind of tough is when we get into calisthenics and we start talking about isometric holds. Now isometric holds, you're not doing actual reps and sets. You're, well, you're not doing actual reps. You're actually doing hold times. So that can be kind of hard to make that correlation. So for me personally, I consider a, about eight to 10, well, seven to 12 reps between the eh, 10 to 15 second mark of a hold, okay? So if I'm aiming, if I'm aiming to gain more back size and I'm, doing, and I'm working on front levers and I really wanna work my lats, so I would aim to do a variation of a front lever that I can hold anywhere from 10 to about 15 seconds. Once you go past 15 seconds, you're going more into an endurance phase. And like I said, we're, our main goal here is gaining muscle size. So sh you should aim for a, a isometric hold or that you can hold anywhere from 10 to 15 seconds. Okay, so now that I covered exercise, I wanna get into nutrition. Nutrition is gonna be the number one most important part outside of, our, our, outside of the exercises that we do in order to gain muscle mass. Now, when it comes down to nutrition, you wanna first make sure that you're in a caloric surplus, meaning that you're getting more than enough calories that you need every single day. But that doesn't mean that we just go around eating whatever the hell we want. We should be making sure that we, we have, we're eating a diet that's higher in protein because protein is the number one building block of muscle. And when we exercise, according to the rep scheme that I gave you before, 
you actually start causing little tiny microscopic tears to your muscle. And your body actually builds on these little microscopic tears with more muscle using proteins that we eat in our normal diet. Now, when, you, when you're talking about how much protein that you should be intaking every single day, for an athlete, if you are constantly working out and on the move, it's been scientifically shown that you should be taking anywhere from 0.7 to about 1.1 to 1.2 grams of protein for every single pound that you weigh. For me, I weigh 155 pounds, so I need to be taking around 155 grams of protein or a little bit more to make sure that I constantly put on muscle mass. Now, when it comes to calories, calories can be a little bit more tricky. You should be in a caloric surplus, meaning that you're getting more calories than you need every single day. Now for me, when I put on the most amount of muscle mass that I had ever put on in my life, I went to I went from taking about like 2,000 calories a day and about like 100 grams of protein to about 3,000 calories a day with over 155 grams of protein. Now what that did, that helped me go from about 150 pounds to 175 pounds. That for me was too heavy and I actually had to cut back because my cardiovascular endurance greatly fell but that was the most mass that I ever put on in my life by just making sure I was in a caloric surplus. And it was also the fluffiest and probably, I wasn't the most cut up, but I had a hell of a lot of muscle mass and I was also the strongest that I had ever been in my entire life. I actually think during that time period, my raw maximal strength is, was higher than it is now. Right now, I'm probably more diverse in skills than I ever was and have more dynamic strength. But back then, I can act, I can honestly say I was the strongest that I ever was in my life. All right, now that I've covered exercise and the whole entire logistics of that, and I've also covered in nutrition and what you should be eating, I wanna get into some of, my, some of my best tips and tricks in order to helping you put on some more muscle mass. Now, tip number one, you have to get adequate sleep. When you sleep, your body actually does the most amount of maintenance that it does then throughout the whole entire day. So your body does the most amount of recovery, the most amount of brain work where it's helping your brain um, with brain functions and getting ready for the next day, um, re-energizing yourself. Like sleep is key. If you're getting eight hours of sleep, you will maximize the time that your body takes like repairing itself to grow bigger, better, and stronger. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, I highly suggest, I've already said it before, taking an approach extra protein source, whether that be a protein shake or making sure you carry peanuts on you, almonds, whatever the case may be, in order to make sure that you're hitting the protein goal that is that you've set for yourself. Okay, tip number three, you need to be drinking more water. When you start to intake more protein, your body actually starts to create more byproducts from the protein that it's using to create the muscles. Now, if you're not intaking enough water, it's gonna start to put a hell of a lot more work on your kidneys. And if you don't drink enough water and you keep taking in high amounts of protein, I promise you, you will end up in the hospital or you're gonna, your, your pee's probably gonna end up darker one day and that's something we do not want. Or else you're gonna have to go to the doctor. So tip number three, make sure you're getting adequate water. Um, tip number four, make sure you understand where you're getting your extra protein sources from. I know I did mention protein as tip number two, but make sure you understand your protein sources because different types of protein operate differently. Uh, so for instance, whey protein is considered a complete protein and it's easier for your body to use that in terms of building um, everything that you need in your body. There are other proteins that are usually more plant-based that are incomplete proteins and don't have all the essential amino acids in them necessary for actually facilitate full muscle growth. So make sure you understand what type of proteins that you're, you're intaking into your body, especially when you buy a protein supplement. Okay, for my last tip, tip number five, I'm, I'm gonna talk about cardio a little bit. Cardio, if you overdo cardio, you're gonna to start to burn into your calories and burn into the protein that you're intaking that could instead be used for building muscle. I highly suggest that if you wanna still do some type of cardio, you do some type of light cardio before your workouts or you pick a whole separate day where you focus on cardio by itself. You don't want to be doing cardio every single day because if you are doing cardio every single day, that's something that you're going to have to calculate into your own game plan because cardio is going to burn calories and it's going to burn through every type of fuel you have in your body at that time. So you'll actually burn through any proteins, you'll burn through the carbohydrates. So you don't want that because your body needs 
the proteins in order to build mass. And we don't wanna burn what we need for building blocks, okay? So you can do cardio, just watch how you do it and make sure you're not doing so much of it that it starts to kill some of your own gains. All right, Super Fit Fam, I hope that really helped you guys on your fitness journey and putting on more muscle mass. Now, if you have any questions or comments, please leave it down below. Uh, also, if you do like this video and it really did help you or you found it informational, please give me a like and subscribe as it really does help me out and puts this video in front of more people so they can get that information as well. I am right now taking on more clients on the online realm. So if you guys want a little part of that or you guys have more questions about that, please also say help me down in the comments below and I'll shoot you a message and I'll talk to you about my onboarding process and how I actually help people out. And then also lastly guys, I am doing a lot more videos right now. I have a lot more time to shoot videos. So you're gonna see me out a lot more on YouTube and doing the, trying to help you guys as much as I can. So please like and subscribe to my page. It really does help me out. Until next time guys, stay healthy, stay fit, and peace.